Welcome Blink Nation, welcome back. Today is gonna be an upper body workout. And actually today is gonna be all about the number 21. All of our repetitions today are gonna be 21 repetitions and we're gonna be going for three rounds. So to give you a little bit of a synopsis of what today's workout's gonna be, we're gonna start off with a warm up. Then we're gonna get into the three round exercises, which we have five exercises per round, for three total rounds. Then after that, we're gonna be doing a cool down, and then we'll be done. Today's workout is about the, uh, is basically a basic to intermediate style workout. If you feel like it's too easy or too hard, feel free to scale it back to fit best for you. If you feel like it's too easy, crank the repetitions up or crank the tempo up, go a little bit faster to get your heart rate accelerated. If you feel like it's just a little too hard, scale it back down. Don't do as many repetitions. Go with a slower tempo. We're in this together. We're gonna get through it. And right now, we're gonna start off with our warm up set. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put out our arms like this, and we're gonna do arm circles. So go ahead and circle those arms forward, just like this. We're gonna go a little small circles to start, and then we're gonna make those circles a little bit bigger as we go. And then today, by the way, just so everybody knows, the only two things we're gonna need today, really, if needed, is a chair to sit in if you can't stand for too long, and also some type of weight, which would be perfect if you had canned food or anything like that. Now we're gonna make those circles a little bit bigger. So those are gonna be a little bit medium circles. There we go. Feel those shoulders start to loosen up a little bit. Now we're gonna go into bigger circles. So as big as you can make those circles, really just getting those shoulders warmed up and relax, shake it out a little bit. Totally natural to feel a little bit of a burn from that. We're gonna put our arm out to the sides, circle back, small small circles backwards. There we go, squeeze your stomach, get used to sucking in that stomach, get, get used to really squeezing that core because everything we do is all about core. Core is your stability, core is your balance, core is what's going to save you in the long run. Now make those circles a little bit bigger, medium style. There we go. And bigger backwards, really make those circles as big as possible. Get those shoulders, rotator cuffs, all that really nice and loose, relax. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get into a child's pose on the chair. Child's pose on the ground would be you just laying on the ground, bending your back, looking up at the sky, at the, sky the stars, the sun, whatever you got going on, whatever time you're viewing this video, whether it's live or later, we're gonna use the chair as our support for the child's pose. So we're gonna take our canned foods and see you later. We're gonna see in a little bit. Put that to the side. Turn the chair, and you wanna have your hands on the back of the chair. Make sure this chair is sturdy. Make sure you're doing this on something that's sturdy so you're not sliding all over the place. So now, hands on the chair. Legs are gonna be back a little bit. Bend that back. Look up to the sky. Look up to the roof. Wow, we got some things we got filling up here. You never know until you look up. Really feel that stretch in the lower back. Really hold it. That's uncomfortable. Come forward a little bit and just focus on looking up. Again, still up bending that back as much as you can. And relax. Awesome. Bring that chair to the front because we're going to get into the chair in a little bit. Now to finish up our warm up, we're going to get our high knees going as high as you can comfortably. If not, march in place. You can't do that sit in the chair, march in place. But we're gonna try to bring those knees up as high as we possibly can, comfortably. Getting our heart rate up just a little bit. Wanna get moving, wanna start feeling this work. There we go, keep going. One leg after the other. If you don't move it, you lose it, <laughs> right? So we gotta keep moving it so we never lose it. Get active. Get that blood flowing, get those muscles fired up, get the heart rate going, feeling alive, wherever you're at, wherever you're locked down. We're here with you, I'm here with you. Again, my name's Chris. I'm the area personal training manager in Queens, New York City. <clears throat> and I'm here to bring a little bit of 
the Blink Gym the Blink experience to you today. And relax, awesome. Make sure you have a water bottle and a towel if possible. Go ahead and take a sip of that water because next we're going into the workout. All right, team, this is what we got going on right now. We're going to go into three rounds. So three rounds of five exercises per round. And it's gonna be focused primarily on the upper body. So the first exercise we're gonna do is gonna require us to grab something with weight. Could be canned food. If you have dumbbells lying around at home, awesome. If you have the dog at home, awesome. Whatever, whatever you can do to add a little bit of weight. If you don't have weight, Everything we're going to do, you can use gravity, you can fight against it. So just go slower and squeeze with every repetition we do. But I have some canned food, pretty easy to find around the house. So we're going to take the first exercise we're going to do is we're going to do what's called bicep curls 21s. So the way this is going to work is we're going to do seven, seven, and seven. We're going to do, we're going to start with our palms facing up, arms down by the side core is going to be tight. We're going to curl these halfway up and then come down. Halfway up, come down. That's going to be for seven. Then the next seven is going to be coming halfway down. Boom. Halfway down. Boom for another seven. And then a full seven bicep curls at the end for a total of 21. So here we go. We're going to go halfway up to start for seven. Here we go. Halfway up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come to the top, now halfway down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, full seven now. One, two, keep those elbows in. Three, four, five, six, and seven. You just did 21. Awesome. Go ahead and put the canned food to the side. Actually, you can hold on to one of them. So put one of the canned foods to the side because we're going to go into a tricep movement. Remember, everything we're doing can be done seated as well. For example, we're going to do a tricep press with one arm at a time. So we're going to do 21 each arm. So the way it's going to look is you're going to set up, set up nice and straight on the chair. Arm is going to go straight up with the canned food. You're going to come down and up, keeping that elbow close to the ear. Down, up, that's two. Here we go. Three, you can be standing as well. Four, five, six, there we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, keep going. Eleven, you should be feeling it. Twelve, thirteen. 14, there we go, almost there, 15, 16, press it at the top, 17, 18, 19, 20, one more, 21, there we go. I'm gonna switch arms, we're gonna switch sides. So take that canned food in the other arm. We're gonna go straight up to the side. One, there we go, two, three, Four, really feel it. Five, keep that elbow in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you're breathing. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You got this. Sixteen, seventeen, almost there. Nineteen, twenty, one more. 21, you should be feeling it right in the back of the arm, the tricep. That's where we're gonna be feeling it when we're doing that movement. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both canned foods and we're gonna get into a lateral raise, otherwise known as a side raise. And it's gonna be for the side part of our shoulders. Again, the great thing about really building up structure in our shoulders, our chest, our back, is to really help with posture, which helps with balance, which helps with feeling better which helps with ADLs, which is your act activity, da your daily activity levels, everything that you're doing on a normal basis, every movement you do, from picking something up off the counter, from above, wherever, this is gonna help you with your regular life. So here we go, we're gonna go for 21 repetitions, 
Because again, today's all about blackjack, the number 21. Hands in front, we're gonna take as if we're pouring water out. Just like that to the sides and coming back down. Here we go. Two. We can do this seated too. Three. Come right up to the side. Four. Slight bend in the elbows. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep going. There you go. Nine. Ten. Feel the burn. Eleven. Twelve. Keep going, 13, 14, 15, you got it, 16, here we go, 17, let's do this, 18, 19, 20, one more, 21, awesome job. Now, we're gonna do the same type of movement, but we're gonna go into a front raise instead. This is gonna help with the front part of the shoulders. Here we go, can't do it in front. Again, you can do the seated, or stand. Here we go. Straight up to eye level now. One. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Just like that. Eye level. Five. Keep that stomach tight. Six. Core is strong. Seven. A little bit of a wide stance. Eight. Nine. Feet shoulder apart. Ten is a good way to do it. Eleven. Here we go. Twelve. Feel that heart rate coming up. Thirteen. Fourteen. Almost there, 15, 16, feel it burn, 17, here we go, 18, 19, 20, one more, 21, we did it, here we go, we just did shoulders, we blasted it out. Now what we're gonna do for our final fifth exercise of the round, seated or standing, you're gonna do a bent over raise, I'm gonna show you how to do it sitting first. So you're gonna actually Come to the edge of the chair. Feet are going to be pretty close together. I want you to bend forward. Hands underneath you. You're going to come out with a slight bend in the elbows out to the sides. One, two, three. Keep going. When you're standing, it's going to look like this. Bend over in front. Four, five. Here we go. Six, seven. Back straight. Eight, nine. 10, arms up to the sides. I'm gonna go back to sitting down. There we go. 12, 13, here we go. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. You should feel it all in your shoulders. We just hit the back of your shoulders, the front of your shoulders, the side of your shoulders. We hit some triceps, we hit some biceps. We're hitting everything. So go ahead and put those canned foods on the side. Grab a little sip of water because the next two rounds are going to go a little bit quicker. Grab that water. All right, this is it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, now that we know how to do the exercises, now is where you leave it all on the table. You're going to go home with this. You're going to go for that, that home plate and slide right on in. And we're going to get this workout done and over with so you can enjoy the rest of your day. So, grab those canned foods, those weights, whatever you got. Because we're going right into bicep curls, 21s. Seven halfway up first. Palms in the sky, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven halfway down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect, full seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Awesome job. Remember, if this is too easy, grab something a little heavier. If this is too hard, get rid of the canned food, use gravity. We're going right into the next exercise. You're gonna take one canned food, one weight, put it to the side. We're gonna do a tricep press. I'm gonna show you from the side view. Here we go. Elbow close to the ear, come down with can food, press up. One, two, three, there we go. Keep going. We got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, keep that somebody tight. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, here we go. Eighteen. 19, 
20, one more. 21, all right, we're going to the left arm. We're gonna take that canned food, press it up behind the ears, elbow right by the ear, press up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here we go. Twelve, thirteen. You got this. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You're feeling it burn. Seventeen. That's okay. Eighteen. You did work in. Nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Awesome. You should start to feel a little bit of a burn now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab both of those weights. And guess what? We're going into a side raise. Can food to your side. Here we go. One. Pour that water out. Two. Three. Four. Keep that stomach tight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Almost there. Come on. Nine. There we go. Ten. I'm with you. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, let's go, 16. Here we go, 17, feel the burn, 18, 19, 20, 21. Shake it out a little bit, I know it's burning, that's a good thing. Remember, it's too easy, crank it up, too hard, crank it down, it's all about you. You versus you. Right, here we go, front raises, canned food in front of you, palms down this time, and straight up to eye level. Two, three, Four, five, here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, almost there. Eleven, twelve, fight through it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21. All right, keep that canned food in place because we're going right into bent over side raises, bent over lateral raises, whatever you prefer to call it. Same thing, here we go. Canned food in front, back is straight, butt out, up. One, two, you can sit down, two, three. Don't be shot, four, five, six, seven, Nine, 10, there we go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's burning. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, I'm burning. My shoulders are burning. I'm feeling it. I hope you're feeling it. Take a water break, because we got one more round left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is where we come to at the very end. This is what we fought to get to. Third round, we're gonna get right through it and right to it. Grab that canned food, because we're going for bicep curls. Here we go, halfway up first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Halfway down, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, full seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to get right into a tricep press. Drop one of the cans. Go ahead and sit down in that chair if you would like. And arm straight up, back down. One, two, three, four. Keep that stomach tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Eleven, almost there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Press it up. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, one more, 21, here we go. We're gonna switch sides now. Left side, grab that canned food, same thing. Stomach nice and tight, back up against the chair, arm up in the air, here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, feel the burn, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, almost there guys and girls, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, here we go, twenty, twenty-one, Woo. I don't know about all y'all, but I felt that, right, here we go, now, Let's grab the other canned food because we're going to right into side lateral raises. Begin 21. Water down. One. Pour that water out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Almost there. Eleven. Halfway there. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, here we go, 17, almost there, 18, 19, 20, 21, woo, front raise time, here we go, grab that canned food, keep it in your hand, we're going right to eye level, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, keep it up, 7, 8, fight gravity, 9, 10, I see you, 11, I feel you out there, 12, 13, let's do this together, 14, 15, 16, I know it burns, 17, but keep it up, 18, 19, it's worth it, 20, 21, great job, last exercise, bent over side raises, here we go, feet shoulder width apart a little bit, back straight, butt out, arms down, bring them to your sides, one, Two. This is gonna burn. Three. So fight through it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Fight through it. Twelve. Already over. Thirteen. Halfway there. Fourteen. Fifteen. Feel the burn. Sixteen. Seventeen. It means it's working. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Ooh. Great. Great job, everybody. You made it through. You really blasted out of her body. Great job. Proud of you. Grab that water. Let's get to a cool down. Okay, so for our cool down, we're gonna start with what is known as a swimmer's stretch. You're gonna interlock your fingers behind your back. And your goal is gonna to be to just get those shoulders up to whatever range of motion is comfortable for you. I'm a little tight, so not even my range of motion is gonna be the best right now. So interlock those fingers. Pump. Your hands are gonna be pointing like that. Interlock the fingers. Again, try to stretch it out in the back as much as you can and hold it. Whatever you can do, keep holding. We're gonna hold it here, 10 seconds. Here we go. There we go, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, that was probably very difficult. Now we're gonna go into a wrist stretch, which is gonna be just taking your wrist and pulling it back like this. So take your fingers, take your other hand, pull it back, up top like this and hold it out there for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now, down. This time, keep holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, other side. Come out here. First, over the top. Bring those fingers back. Feel your forearm really getting that stretch for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax, down, here we go. Keep feeling that pressure in the forearm, which is the foaming goal of this. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Really loosening up those joints, especially with our hands, or some of us are working from home. Do it a lot from home, and you're gonna be feeling it in your joints. That's what that's for. Now what we're gonna go to is a tricep stretch. So the whole point is you're gonna bring that hand behind your back, hand underneath the tricep, press up, and really get that stretch 
to where you can really feel it in your shoulder and tricep. And hold it here for 10 seconds. There you go, keep holding. Five seconds. There you go. And relax. Other arm this time. Hand underneath the tricep. Hand placed on the back. Press up. Really feel that stretch in the tricep and shoulder area. 10 seconds left. There you go, perfect. Keep holding it, stomach tight. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna go as a cross arm, uh, crossover arm stretch. Take this arm, bring it over your body, this hand underneath. Press that shoulder and that arm the opposite way. Keep pressing it toward the wall, whatever's closest to you. Just feel that stretch in the shoulder. We did a lot of shoulders today. That's why we're really making sure we're stretching the shoulders out so you don't feel as painful tomorrow or the next day when you feel a little bit of muscle tenderness and soreness. Keep holding it right there. And relax. Same thing with the other arm. Come on underneath. Bring that shoulder to the other side. Perfect. Keep it there for 10 seconds. There you go. Five seconds. And relax. Great job, everybody. Wonderful job. Thank you for joining me on another edition, straight from Blake Nation to you. My name is Chris. If you need any help beyond this, you can always find me on social media. If you use social media, ask me Chris Law. And I'm here to help you with whatever questions you may have regarding your health and fitness at your home, at your park, wherever you're at right now watching this. Keep it, uh, keep everything going well. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Chris, signing out.